Good evening. Uh, my name is Kishore. I am from uh, Rudra IT Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Oracle Fusion PPM uh, Cloud. Um, uh, we will go through like um, uh, basics of what Fusion PPM is about and uh, for now, for time being, on for, for this session we will discuss about one uh, certain topic, one interesting topic in Oracle Fusion PPM. Uh, before uh, uh, we go and discuss about Oracle Fusion PPM, uh, I will uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Kishore. I am uh, having like around 11 years of experience in Oracle DBs and Fusion applications. And I am from Rudra IT Solutions. And uh, Rudra IT Solutions are doing these kind of trainings uh, on EBS and Fusion from quite uh, some time. Uh, I believe they are doing EBS trainings from last like four to five years. And they also started on Fusion uh, from last one year. Um, as I said, uh, now we'll be discussing about. Uh, we'll just uh, try to discuss what Fusion PPM is, and uh, also, as I said, we'll discuss a certain topic in uh, Oracle Fusion PPM. Okay. So, a uh, Fusion PPM is a, a combination of like project costing, project building, project control, and also some additional functionalities which is not there in Oracle uh, EBS projects like. Uh, project performance reporting, project integration gateway, and project analytics. Uh, for people who already worked in Oracle ABS projects, so it will be very uh, similar or it will be very easy to relate to Oracle Fusion PPM. For, uh, for people who also worked on uh, PeopleSoft um, project, for them also it will be uh, they can relate themselves to uh, what uh, they are getting getting to know here in Oracle Fusion PPM. And again, for people who didn't work on any uh, EBS or PeopleSoft projects, it will be a new uh, new application where they can learn everything from scratch. So for anyone, uh, it will be a good uh, start, good application to know something which Oracle is offering as as part of it as part of its latest uh, Oracle applications. Okay, so uh, now, now we're gonna um, uh, discuss about certain topic in Oracle Fusion. Uh, this is about um, standardized project cost collection and interface. So we will also discuss like what it used to be in Oracle EBS projects and what is that uh, it is uh, offering now as part of Oracle Fusion PPM. Okay, so in Oracle EBS projects, there are certain limitations or certain drawbacks on the way Oracle EBS projects used to collect the data and uh, it used to interface the data from other subledger modules or third-party applications to Oracle projects. So first, we'll try to know like what are the drawbacks or what are the pain points that Oracle EBS projects has. So uh, one of the one of the point is like uh, ability to, ability to expand project functionality to meet industry requirements has been historically difficult because proposed changes need to be supported by all integrating teams in same release cycle. So th this is like um, I mean, whenever we have a project in Oracle projects, so um, the whole idea of having a pro uh, having a project is uh, whatever cost that is incurred to Come execute that that can come from multiple uh, modules or multiple third-party systems. So we'll create a project in project, and we will uh, uh, transfer or interface all that uh, cost from other modules or uh, uh, third-party systems to Oracle projects. So uh, in EBS, the way uh, Oracle projects collect uh, this data is different for each module, and it is different for each third-party application. So People know that um, it is different for each module uh, as as the concept of uh, integration process for each module is different itself is a pain point. But to standardize that functionality, uh, Oracle couldn't address that as part of EBS. The reason being if they have to do that, they have to bring all uh, module development team, teams on board. So that is something uh, which they couldn't do as part of Oracle EBS. And um, second point, as I, as I already said, the integration points of uh, Oracle projects with all these modules, again, it is unique for each module. So the way the, the way Oracle Time and Labor uh, interfaces approve time cards from OTL to projects is different. And the way a 
supplier invoices are interfaced from payables to projects is different. The way in the sense the set of instructions or the set of programs or the set of steps that uh, users or uh, project teams or IT consultants has to execute are different uh, for each module. Uh, for modules like uh, inventory, OTL, payables, purchasing, internet expenses. So each module sends uh, corresponding project related data to Oracle projects with uh, by processing different set of uh, steps or by running different set of programs. That is one uh, pain point. And the next one is uh, user experience. I mean, when we are entering uh, project related data in any of these modules, the kind of attributes or the kind of project related attributes that we enter in each module is different. Like in, in expenses, we enter so the certain attributes which are not again same in some other module. So it is not um, same across the board or uh, we can also say that I mean there are certain limitations on this attribute as well. Uh, if we want to add some more attributes other than the attributes that are provided by Oracle, we, we were not able to do that as part of Oracle DBS. So that is one of the pain point. And the next one um, yeah, the, the next one also we already discussed. People want to add uh, additional attributes when they are interfacing or when they are collecting the data to send that to projects, which is not available in Oracle EBS. So uh, these are the main pain points as part of cost collection in Oracle EBS projects. Uh, the next one, now we'll, uh, in this slide, we'll see the pain points that we have in Oracle uh, EBS projects as part of uh, interfacing the data from multiple um, sources to Oracle projects. Okay. As I said, we will be collecting data from multiple sources, uh, multiple uh, modules or multiple uh, third party systems to Oracle projects. So once we get the data, we need to process the data. Again, uh, you know, EBS uh, projects, each set of uh, uh, transactions like the time cards that we uh, import from OTL to projects, we can process these transactions by running a certain set of programs and these programs are again different for the, the data which comes from other modules like payables or internet expenses or inventory. So for each set of transactions that we receive from each module can be processed by running different set of programs. Uh, that is one of the pain point as part of uh, interfacing the data or processing the data. And the next one is uh, multiple error handling mechanisms. Uh, this is again um, uh, each set of transactions that we get from each module uh, can have different uh, type of errors and uh, there is no common place where we can go and uh, check, uh, check for the errors and uh, do the correction. So, the errors can be different for each module and uh, the way we uh, need to handle these errors is also different um, based on the source of the transaction. So that is one of the pain point. And the next one is uh, there is no uh, standardized or common place where we can go and check what are the processed transactions and what are the unprocessed transactions and what are the errors that we uh, uh, faced when that uh, when these transactions are processed, so that is one of the um, uh, like uh, pain point. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, assume that we have a, we have many sources of we have many transactions that we interface from uh, multiple modules and multiple sources uh, to Oracle projects, but I mean, if some of the transactions got errored out, and uh, if we have a uh, standardized or uh, common place where we can go uh, and check for the errors and correct the errors and again run the import process that will be easy for users to do this kind of uh, transaction processing. But if we don't have a uh, common place where we can do all this uh, activity that will definitely be a pain point as it was uh, as it is in ORC VBS. And the other pain point is again now uh, uh, deferred cost processing uh, is not tag as uh, streamlined as it is required and down the line when it goes to customer billing, asset capitalization and, and project management. So these are the pain points that uh, we have in Oracle EBS uh, projects as part of 
interfacing the transactions from uh, multiple modules to Oracle Provenance. So now we'll see like uh, how these pain points of cost collection and interface has been addressed as part of Oracle Fusion. So in Oracle Fusion, we have a, a new functionality called standardized cost collection and interface. So we'll see like what is the what is this functionality is about. So standardized cost collection is effort in Fusion to standardize the way in which project attributes are captured, validated, and displayed on documents in the source applications. So it is about uh, uh, inter, uh, making sure that we have a uh, common way of uh, uh, defining these project attributes in whatever module we are trying to enter the project related data and whatever are the attributes are uh, it is a common mechanism uh, that will be uh, that will validate or display these documents in the source application. So when we say document like purchase order is a document. If it is a project related purchase order, the way we uh, capture the project related attributes is same even for purchase order or even for a expense report or even for a supplier invoice in payables or if it is for a time card in OTL or it is some uh, inventory cost in inventory. So the way we uh, capture the project attributes has been standardized in all these modules and uh, in whatever module we are trying to enter these de details based on the module if you want to add some project attributes you can always do that but uh, the, the mechanism which will uh, validate and display these data details has been standardized so which will make uh, 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 pretty much uh, uh, job easy to whoever uses the application and again, once the uh, once the cost has been collected, and it has been and it should be interfaced to projects and should process in projects. So now uh, uh, the next process of uh, cost interface will come into picture. That is, the interface process has been standardized uh, to make sure that uh, all these transactions are interfaced into projects from source applications and has been uh, and should be processed with a single set of program instead of my, my instead of running multiple set of programs for each uh, uh, for each or for each set of transactions that we receive from multiple modules the uh, the way we process the data in uh, oracle fusion projects has been standardized by using a, a single set of uh, programs so this is the best uh, i can say best representation of what what it used to be in EBS Artful and how it uh, has been addressed in Oracle Fusion. So if you see in the Oracle EBS Artful uh, picture, we'll, we have like uh, payables and uh, the documents that we receive generally from payables like uh, purchase order, requisitions, expenses, excuse me, supply invoices. So these are all the uh, transactions or uh, type of documents that we that we can interface from payables to projects. So the way we process these uh, transactions or the way we collect uh, uh, the details and the way we interface these details from tables to projects is different than the way we uh, uh, do that process for uh, supply chain to project. Again, it is uh, different from the way we collect and uh, interface the approved time cards from time and labor to project. So which has been, again, uh, standardized uh, uh, centralized in fusion if you see in fusion so we have multiple sources like purchase order expenses inventory supply invoices third party applications excel upload so even though the data is not coming from multiple sources if you can see in the center uh, we we can define a uh, standardized cost collection fields which will uh, which will collect all the related data from all these modules into a common place and that will be collected, processed and tie back to the source application as part of a standardized cost collection on the interface process in Fusion. So this is one of the, I can say, I mean, um, for people who are really uh, already worked in EBS Artful, we definitely appreciate uh, this functionality uh, which has been addressed as part of Oracle Fusion PPM because uh, uh, we, I mean, uh, we know the pain uh, that we used to take to uh, remember the set of instructions that we need to follow for each kind of transaction uh, 
to process the transaction or to interface the transaction in EBS R12. Again, um, if we can do that um, interfacing or processing with a, sing, with a simple uh, set of instructions that would uh, uh, that will uh, that would really be appreciated, which has been addressed as part of Oracle Fusion. So yeah, uh, for now this is about um, like uh, standardized cost collection and interface process that has been in, uh, introduced into Oracle Fusion. So we can definitely uh, discuss more details, uh, not only about this particular topic, but also about uh, all the other uh, concepts that we have in Oracle Fusion PPM, starting from project costing, project building, or an integration of project building with project contracts, and project control, again, which, is, which used to be project management in uh, Oracle EBS, then all the other uh, new functionalities that has been introduced uh, in uh, Oracle Fusion, like project performance reporting, um, or, or transactional business intelligence or business intelligence application, uh, web API integration or um, uh, integration gateway like integration with uh, a primary or integration with MS projects and uh, the way the organizations has been uh, changed in uh, uh, Oracle Fusion PPN. So we can we can always discuss all these topics uh, in further classes. Uh, so if you want to discuss or uh, if you want to be part of all those sessions, please subscribe to us as you can see on our screen. So I hope uh, I'll see you guys in further classes. Uh, thank you for now and uh, see you soon.